the JAMA Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Ann Coppola. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine in the Division of Endocrinology, Diabetes and Metabolism in the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm both an author and an Associate Editor at JAMA. Thyroid disease is pretty common, um, particularly when you're looking at mild abnormalities that are just outside the normal range. We were interested in understanding what was the clinical impact of having some of these changes that were just outside what we would consider to be normal. For this particular study, the outcome we were most interested in was fracture, in particular hip fractures. What we wanted to know what was what was the clinical impact of having thyroid testing just outside of the normal range, either on the overactive side or on the underactive side, in terms of risk of having a hip fracture. This study was an international collaborative effort of over 70,000 participants from 13 cohorts from around the world. There were studies from the United States, from Europe, from Japan, and from Australia. All of the participants had had thyroid function tests measured at a point in time, and they were followed up for a median of 12 years. Uh, the participants uh, ranged from age 18 upward, though the median age was 64 years, uh, and 61% were women. We were most interested in hip fractures because those are the most disabling of fractures. They're also very easy to quantitate. People require hospitalization for those, so those are discrete events. We were also interested in any kind of fracture and in spinal compression fractures that had been brought to clinical attention. We were primarily interested in looking at the risk of hip fracture uh, with respect to having subclinical hyperthyroidism, so a low TSH with normal free T4, and those who had subclinical hypothyroidism, an elevated TSH with a normal free T4. And what we found was that those who had subclinical hyperthyroidism were at increased risk of hip fracture or of any kind of fracture. We did not see any increased risk of any kind of fracture in those who had subclinical hypothyroidism. Uh, what was particularly interesting to us is that we found that those who had endogenous subclinical hyperthyroidism, so that subclinical hyperthyroidism was due to too much thyroid production on their own as opposed to taking um, levothyroxine, uh, were at particularly increased risk of having a hip fracture. We concluded that people who have subclinical hyperthyroidism are at increased risk of having a hip fracture. What this suggests is that leaving this condition untreated causes risks to patients. On the other side, patients who had subclinical hypothyroidism were not at increased risk of fracture. And this builds on other literature where we're trying to figure out the target population of people with subclinical hypothyroidism who should be treated. And at this point, it doesn't look like fracture is an indication. What we'd like to see are studies that are intervention studies. So unlike ours that was observational, studies that show that if you treat subclinical hyperthyroidism, perhaps you can prevent adverse events.